Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Jun Han. Now today you join me here at Goat Car Import to review this car right here. So this is the Aston Martin DBX. Now this is actually Aston Martin first ever SUV after 107 years of automotive history. Unbelievable, right? So yeah, nowadays it's actually pretty common to see high-end car manufacturers go into the SUV segment because nowadays SUV are really really high in demand. So for example, you have the Bentley Bentayga, you have the Porsche Cayenne, you have the Maserati Levante, you have the Rolls Royce Cullinan, and also the Lamborghini Urus. So yeah, everyone is literally going to the SUV market. So this is Aston Martin take for their SUV. Okay, first thing first, let's talk about the heart of the Aston Martin DBX. Now the Aston Martin DBX is powered by a 4-litre twin turbocharged V8 that is borrowed from Mercedes AMG but then built by Aston Martin themselves. So this car produces 540 horsepower and 700 newton meters of torque. 0 to 100 km per hour in just 4.5 seconds and top speed of 292 km per hour. Now, not to mention that I'm currently under this ginormous clamshell hood of the Aston Martin DBX itself, which lifts part of the fender itself as well. Okay, now let's talk about the design of the Aston Martin DBX itself. So you can see up front, this one is unlike the Lamborghini Urus, which I recently reviewed. So that one is much more aggressive, much more showy, and it's much more out there. This one is much more elegant and much more civilized. So yes, firstly, up front, you can see this badge right here. Now, this one normally will be silver in color, but then this one is fully blacked out. And fun fact, this is actually the largest batch ever fitted into any Aston Martin production vehicle ever. Same goes for the grille as well. This one is also the largest grille ever fitted on the Aston Martin DBX. Again, it's supposed to be silver in color, but this one is a blacked out spec. So yeah, it's very, very aggressive. And then on top here, you can see the hood. There are actually two hood vents to allow the hot air to escape from the engine bay itself. And then you can come down here, you can see the bottom here. So this one right here is actually a daytime running light. This surround here actually lights up. And what's pretty cool about this is you can see the middle is actually hollow so that one actually channels air around the car to act as an air curtain or to cool the brakes itself. Let's look at the side profile. It's super sporty, right? Okay, firstly, let's talk about the wheels itself. So these wheels right here are 22 inch, so it looks absolutely huge. And then you come towards this side, so the fender here, you got this Aston Martin design. So normally this one is finished in chrome, but then it's blacked out as well. And then here, you got these vents right here. This is to relieve the pressure built inside the wheel well up front. Yep. And then another interesting detail about this car is if you see the B-pillar, normally B-pillar is made out of plastic, right? But then this one, Aston Martin take a step further and go and put it glass. The reason for that is because he wants this whole piece here to be seamless and to be look as if it's one single piece. Now that's attention to detail. It is very nice. The next thing would be the doors. So let's say if I open the door, right? You can see the door actually swings upwards so this is the swan hinged door that's what Aston Martin calls it and another cool thing if you see this part here this one here actually extends all the way down so the reason for this is because let's say if you take this car to off-roading right you get very muddy and very dirty right you don't want to dirty the door seal right here because this part on normal cars right always it becomes very dirty so this one actually protects it so that you can see right when I close it it actually covers the entire thing so that protects the door seal from getting dirty which is very nice same goes for the back as well. Again, the back is also swan hinged. You can see, it lifts up. Very cool. Covers the whole thing. And I close it. It covers. Okay, for the rear design of the Aston Martin DBX, it looks very elegant, right? So you have this swooping tail lights which run across from one end to another end. So this one is inspired by the Vantage because the Vantage has similar light as well. And then you got this Aston Martin lettering. Usually finished in silver. Again, finished in black right here. You got the blacked out badge. And then if you come down here, you can see they actually do exhaust. And if you check out the side of the exhaust, they actually cut aways, cut outs. So this hose is to accentuate the exhaust itself, which is very nice. And one very cool thing about the back, right? If you check out from the side view, is I like how this tail light actually forms the shape of the duck bill. So the duck bill spoiler is actually integrated to the body itself. So if you look from the side, it looks absolutely beautiful. And now let's listen to some raps of this exhaust. Now the 
interior of the Aston Martin DBX is as luxurious and as elegant as the exterior because firstly, look at the materials. So you look at the dashboard itself, everything is finished in leather and then you got this contrast right stitching all around, even the steering wheel is all finished in leather, very nice. And then the seats is also, it's also finished in leather. And then the top here, you got this Aston Martin logo, white colour embossed on the headrest to give you some contrast. And then I like how Aston Martin actually used the stitching to create a design or pattern for the seats itself. So you can see there's this crisscross effect and then it's also perforated as well. And one thing I like about Aston Martin is they really think about all those small little tiny details because normal cars, right, the glove box, usually they would have this button for you to press or pull to open up the glove box, right? But Aston Martin, no. What they did is they just put one small aluminum knob which you press and it opens it up slowly and elegantly, which is very nice. And, that, and, and that's one of it. Another one would be the interior illumination light because if you look at it, there's no button for you to turn it on and off. The only way to turn it on and off is to press on the light itself then for it to come on, which is very neat. So all these small, small things actually adds up together. And also one thing I love is if you look up here, right, everything is finished in Alcantara, which is very, very premium. And then even the sunroof cover, the entire thing is finished in Alcantara as well. How cool is that? So this sunroof actually extends all the way up to the back so that passenger can also experience the open air experience. And also one thing I love most about this car in terms of material, right, is the speakers on the door cut itself. Because if you look at it, usually speakers are made out of plastic or metal, right? But for this car, no. You know what is it made of? You guessed it, leather as well. Yeah, the entire speaker system is actually made out of leather, which is very, very cool. This is my first time seeing it. It's very premium. It gives this whole door cut a very premium feel. And then you got a bit of a carbon fiber piece, which actually accentuates the entire door cut. Looks very, very good. And then if you look in the middle here, right? So this is the central tunnel. So this central tunnel, you can see they actually hollowed out the bottom. So bottom here, you can put some stuff. You can put your phone. And then the top here, this bridge is actually finished in carbon fiber, which is very neat. And then if you look here, there are actually five buttons on the left and five buttons on the right. So the one on the left, you can see you can change the driving modes. So there are actually five different driving modes, which I'll show you later when I turn the car on. And then you got Hill Descent Assist. It's very important when you're going off-roading. Yep, and then on the right, you got Lane Keep Assist. You got Auto Start Stop, Parking Assist, and also 360 Camera, which is very cool because this car is so huge. You need a 360 camera, especially when you go to tight parking spots. And then in front right here, you can see on the top, you got the gear select. So the gear select usually would be at the middle, right? But for this car, no. They put it prominently on top here. So you got parking, you got reverse, you got the start stop button, you got neutral, and you got drive. It's very simple. So everything you can just press from here. And then you got this screen right here. So this is the infotainment screen. Now, one thing I love about this infotainment screen is, right, if you look at the vehicle, right, it actually shows the picture of the Aston Martin DB5 and not the DBX. So it's very cool because this is a nod to the Aston Martin heritage. And then if you look at the instrumental cluster as well, so it's all fully digital. It's very, very high definition. So let's say if I go to change the driving modes, right? You have six different modes to choose from. So when you go to Sport and Sport Plus, it actually changes to red color, which is very cool. Now one thing I find it surprising is that the infotainment screen is actually not touch screen. You have to use this pad here. So this one comes from the Mercedes. So you just scroll here and you tap here to select and move around. If you go to drive modes, you go to individual configuration, you can configure each to your liking. So let's say if you click on suspension, you can choose whether you want sport or you want GT. You go to steering, you still can choose drive and also the exhaust system. So this one, if you put the sport plus, it actually opens up the valve and makes it much, much louder. Okay, the back seats are also very premium. You can see all here is leather, you got the white stitching, you got a bit of carbon fiber trim. And then interior, you can see here, you can see the seats are actually slanted backwards a bit. So this is because at the end of the day, this is a GT car, which is a Grand Tourer. So this one is going to go for long distance cruising. So it needs to be very comfortable. It's very nice. It's very comfortable. The leather is very soft. Again, you got the stitching design, it's perforated. You got the embossed logo. And then even here, you look at the back of the front seat, right? You got these two stitching and then you got some perforation here, which is pretty cool. And then you got two aircon vents. And even the side here, there are aircon vents for you. So you don't have to worry, especially in Malaysia, it's so hot, right? You got one, two, three, four. So it'll definitely keep you cool. Okay, last but not least, let's check out the boot space of the Aston Martin DBX. Because this car is so huge, it actually has a lot of room inside. So you can put whatever you want to put inside. And you can see the quality, all oh, is very nice. You have this low lift. And even this shelf cover here, right? This one is, usually people would make it in hard plastic or normal plastic, right? This one is actually finished in leather and it's well stitched as well in the middle. So yeah, Aston Martin really thought of everything to make sure that it's very, very good in quality. And then on the right here, you can see, so this one, 
you can actually press the button to push the seat down. So instead of going in front and manually push the seat down, you just press this button, it automatically pushes in front. So yeah, very convenient. And on the left here, you got two buttons. So because this car is equipped with air suspension, so basically you click this one, it actually lowers the car down, so it's easier for you to carry heavy stuff over. And then you can put the car back up. Yeah, it's very convenient and I got nothing much to say. It's just all around perfect. And I think that's about it guys. Now if you compare this car right here to any other luxury SUV, for example, the Lamborghini Urus, the Porsche Cayenne and the Bentley Bentayga, these three actually share the same platform because they're under the same group which is the Volkswagen family. So all of them actually have similar designs in terms of the interior whereas this car is bespoke and unique to Aston Martin only. So yeah, which makes this car very different and very very cool. And also if you think this car is not fast enough, Aston Martin recently just unveiled the new version of this car which is called the DBX 707 so yeah that car has a claimed 0 to 100 km per hour in 3.3 seconds and someone actually did it 3.1 seconds making it one of the fastest SUVs out there currently right now and yeah I think to sum everything up if you enjoyed this video please remember to like subscribe and share with friends and if you're interested with any of these cars right here or any recon cars details will be down below so yes, I think on that note, I shall catch you guys next time. Bye.